Last time I spilt half the water, so this time I've brought a longer funnel and a supervisor. <laughs> Quick. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, very good. We're about to head into Portofino and everybody will be really well dressed compared to us, so we're trying to make a little bit of an effort. As you can see, this is very creased, it's just come out of a bag and it's got loads of creases in it. A little trick that we learned from Gone with the Winds, Nikki and Jason, Gone with the Winds. Uh, if you put some fabric conditioner in a spray bottle with some water, then you can just give your clothes a spray especially on the creased bits. And then if you hang it up, it kind of dries without creases. And it also smells good. So it's quite a handy trick. Yeah, two minutes after they nearly hit that boat, uh, they nearly hit us, that same boat there, probably about half a metre from, from hitting us at the bow there. Um, <laughs> so it's a, it's a rental boat, so um, we've probably got the same issues as yesterday, but we're just going to have to go because, um, you know, we can't. We could sit here for a week and not go ashore if we're, if we're waiting to not be, uh, not be around on the boat, so that's, I think, what we're going to do next. two ways of making an entrance in this world. One is our way, and that's the other way. <laughs> We discovered something recently. Remember last time I mentioned the uh, really long red carpet that we saw in Santa Margarita, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's the longest in the world. It runs from here, Portofino, it goes to Santa Margarita and then it goes to Rapallo. So I'll put a, uh, an annotation on the screen with exactly how long it is because I don't know now. There we are. <laughs> Here we go. And the first Delicious. drop. <laughs> the first drop went on my shorts.
where does this go to, Ro, this path? It goes to the beach where we are anchored, yeah. Paradis. So you can walk there on the right top. <laughs> Do a bit of shopping here. Leather jacket, just under seven thousand euros. <laughs> Bargain. Over there there is a castle and there is a path to go there or some other stuff to go but uh, as I'm pregnant I don't really feel like doing it. It's a shame because I would do it normally but so we're gonna skip it. Going to get some water. Uh, it'll be a little bit embarrassing walking back so I've got to walk through all the town centre and restaurants with a jerry can with 20 litres of water but here we are, we do these things don't we? been back on the boat what half an hour yeah and we've already had two <laughs> near collisions <laughs> with anchored motorboats around us yeah um, so plus one this morning before we left yeah so that's three so far today yeah. uh, that's the nature of the beast here it's a very popular area there are lots of boats around us and uh, yeah there's not a lot we can do about it yeah. uh, finger crossed it seems our boat it's fine. Oh, yeah. Nobody hit us. Yeah, it looks like nobody's hit us. Actually, hit us while we were yeah. away. We left the fenders out. As far as we can see. So, yeah. anyway, there we are. It's uh, such is life. As a side note, Portofino is very expensive. Typically, um, you know, it's where all the VIPs go. Yeah. You saw the boats that were there. Um, but however, it can be also very cheap because we've been anchoring for free. Yeah. We just bought ice cream for six euro. 
yeah. in total. Found some free toilets. Yeah. <laughs> got, got a free jerry can of water. For the boat. So can yeah. also be cheap. Yeah. Depends how you want to live it. Exactly. And we had a great time there, didn't we? We really yeah. enjoyed seeing it. Yeah. We've had a, a really nice day so far. It's seven o'clock in the evening and fortunately all the boats pretty much have gone away so we now have an empty space which is great because um, I'm going to be able to go sailing now. I wasn't able to do that before because Rossella was on the boat. Uh, I didn't want to leave her on her own because then if a boat came to bang into us she'd be there pushing and all the rest of it so I preferred to stay on board. Now that everybody's gone I'm free to go sailing. Um, I'd love Ro to come with me too but with uh, with the height of the boom she doesn't really feel like crouching down too much with her tummy so I'm just going to go on my own this time. Boats in the bay, there was plenty of wind. Now everybody's gone, there's no wind. <laughs> anyway, if there's uh, one good thing about sailing, it teaches you patience, doesn't it? Here we are on board the tender. Now, as you know, we don't have a GoPro because I dropped it in the sea, but I do have my phone, so I'm uh, taking this video on my phone. I'm going to be trying to be careful to not have this end up joining the GoPro under the water. Right then, there's not much wind, but let's go and see if we can get some sailing done. Very light breeze now, and we are sailing, hurrah! In fact, I see on the water, it looks as though we might get something that might even resemble a little bit of wind. Should be wonderful. We might have found a little cave down here. This is as far as we're going in this direction. Oh look, there's one of those little buses. They're like a normal bus but shorter, quite cute. For the winding roads, I suppose they're quite useful. And I can feel Rossella staring at me thinking, where are you going? Why are you going so far? So we're gonna head back now and go back in that general direction towards the boat. I just love the sound of those crickets. I guess if there are any other sounds other than the noises of sailing, even at about a quarter of a knot, that are uh, relaxing, I guess cricket sounds have to be one of them. This is the equivalent of multitasking for me. I'm uh, trying to control the sail. I've got my foot on the tiller and I've got my hand on the camera. I'm also speaking, so actually, wow. Well done, Chris. Ahoy there. How's it going? Very well. Do you enjoy your sailing? Yeah, it's good now there's a wee bit of wind. 
Well, we've just been over there to uh, near the entrance of Portofino. I was tempted to go around the corner having a look at it. However, Rosella said a while back that she was putting the food on. And although it seems like about two minutes ago to me in my little time warp here, I'm sure that was at least 20 minutes ago. So I better get back, otherwise I'll be in trouble. I got back to the boat just in time for dinner, which is great because I'm starving. And I just wanted to say one last thing. No doubt lots of you were screaming this at the screen. Just at the end there, the last kind of 10 minutes, I loosened off the outhaul on the mainsail and I got about four times more power than uh, the way I had it before with the outhaul really tight. So I set it up when there was a bit of wind earlier on. Uh, that's why it was tight and then I had to wait for all the boats to go and then the wind had died and then I went sailing with the setup of stronger winds and then I didn't realise. So uh, yeah, if any of you have got any hints and tips you see things that I'm doing that could be done better then please leave comments below and I will learn from that and so will other viewers. Anyway, it's time to eat now, so see you in a bit. Well, we've just had our dinner, some pasta, which was delicious, thank you, Rosanna. You're welcome. I'll, uh, I'll do the washing up. And yeah, here we are, sat in this beautiful, relaxing atmosphere with our wee tender fluttering around beside us, which is cool too. Just relaxing here. Perfect ending of the day. Yeah, what more could you ask for? A uh, beautiful pregnant wife, belly full of food, bobbing around in a beautiful place, and uh, yeah, everything's, everything's great.